uh, Prime Minister, you, you, you said here in your intervention that uh, uh, the reform of the European Union and the change of the treaties is a long-term exercise. That's true, but if it is a long-term exercise, you have to start early. Huh? <clears throat> Certainly be, to be ready for 2024. And as you know, the President of the Parliament has triggered Article 48, has sent you a letter, and my request to you and the request of the whole Parliament is that you react smoothly and swiftly to that request. It's a limited request. To end unanimity and the national vetoes in the European Council. Because the war in Ukraine shows very well that that is the problem in the European Union for the moment. We need three months to have an oil embargo in the European Union. Three months to decide that because of national vetoes. We have no agreement now on this minimum taxation, a multilateral agreement uh, in an international framework because of the blackmail and the veto of whom? Of Hungary. And at the same time, we have the whole migration package in limbo because of what? Of national vetoes. So the war is showing that that need to change. So my request to you is to smoothly say yes to the request of the parliament to have a convention. And not to play games about that, minister. Like yesterday, preparing a letter with the other member states, with a silent procedure, in saying, yeah, but we wait for a more bold proposal of the parliament or Article 48. So the council is now saying we cannot say yes Thank you. To the limited proposal, because they ask for a bold proposal. That's playing games, Minister. Say yes to what the President of the Parliament has asked it for. Don't only use the words of Havel. Act as Vaclav Havel.